So as you can see, it's raining out here and my hands are wet. My pants are wet. Everything's wet. Why? Because I'm not following my own advice. Hey everybody, I'm Tom and this is Shifter, a channel about urban cycling and bike commuting. And that was thunder. If you like this video, please consider subscribing. Uh, last spring when things were really wet, I went on a mission to figure out the best way of staying dry while riding a bike. And thanks to a lot of you, lots of people out there in the Shifter community gave me some great ideas. I came up with a great solution that was working for me and this was not it. A cycling specific rain poncho. So I've gotten a lot of use out of this poncho since that video went out and I've been quite happy with it. However, since that time, a couple of uh, reps at different poncho companies saw the video and were good enough to send me samples of their ponchos too, just so I could compare. So I have now four ponchos. It's like Poncho Palooza over here and they all have their merits. So I thought I would actually go through the list today and tell, talk a bit about each poncho to help you make a good poncho decision. It's a poncho extravaganza. The poncho puns are just starting. So prepare yourself. This is the VOD poncho. This is the original one I, uh, I got. It's got all the key poncho elements. It's got good thumb loops for your arms. It's got a good waist strap. It has a good hood. One thing that I quite like about it is it's got these little windows on the hood. Sometimes when you've got the hood on, it takes away your peripheral vision, which can be kind of dangerous riding on a busy road. It's got a pocket up front, which I quite like. I find myself using it quite a bit. Oh, what's in there? The other thing that's great about it is the price. It's quite, it's priced quite a bit lower than the other ones that I'll talk about today. The downsides of it is that of the ones I'm showing you today, it's by far the uh, cheapest. The material is light. It's um, not as durable as the other ones. So I guess you kind of get what you pay for. It's sort of the entry level poncho. Okay, the next poncho is from the fine folks at Cleverhood. This is an American company. They've been making these ponchos for quite some time. This is their classic cycling cape, just like the poncho. This is the one that they, sort of their bread and butter. So a couple of things I like about this poncho. It's got um, armholes, which is kind of useful, and they have these magnetic uh, closing clasps on it. So you can just sort of pop your arms out if you need to, and then they close back up again really easily. You can hear them sort of snap into place. So that's nice. It's also got, um, thumb loops on the inside so you can make sure you hold that down on your handlebar so it's not going to blow up all over your face when it gets windy out. This poncho does not have a waist strap like the VOD does which I quite like but it does have another way of ensuring that the poncho doesn't get away from you at the back if it's windy. On the side it's got these velcro velcro straps so you can sort of cinch it up tighten things up a little bit and that does give you a bit of control over how big it is and how floppy it is at the back. So the other thing I like about this poncho is it looks pretty good. It's kind of got a Sherlock Holmes vibe, which I like. It's kind of a classic uh, poncho look. Um, it's reflective. You can't tell now, but at night when headlights of a vehicle hit it, it does light up pretty bright. So that's really nice. And it's just a good solid material. It's uh, super waterproof, feels really durable, but not too sort of sweaty. Um, so I think this is the kind of poncho you'd buy and you'd have it for years and years and years and you'd never have any problems with it. So yeah, that's the classic Cleverhood cape. Next up is another uh, poncho from Cleverhood. This one's a newer model, it's called the Rover. And the idea on this one is that it's a little bit smaller and sleeker than the classic cape. Also comes with a little carrying bag, which I actually quite like. I didn't think it would matter, but I do find myself using it a bit, so. As you can see, it's a little bit smaller, a little bit lower profile than the classic cape. Um, it's a little bit lighter as well. Uh, still got the things you need. It's got the uh, thumb loops on the inside and a nice hood uh, at the top. It's just a little less cumbersome, I think. The, the classic cape is big. It covers up everything. This one is a little bit easier to manage. Um, it doesn't have uh, a waist strap at the back, so I actually did find it flopping around a bit at the back. But it also didn't give me as, no, as much coverage as the big one. So I did find my legs getting a little bit wet when I was riding with this one. The material's nice. It's not as heavy as the other one. So it's just a little bit lighter, a little bit, uh, I don't know what the word is. Just get around a little bit easier with this one. Okay, and the last poncho I've got to show you today is the classic People's Poncho. People's Poncho is a British company. 
This one comes with a nice little carrying bag, which I find myself using quite a bit actually. Sometimes if you're not sure it's gonna rain, it's nice just to throw it on there and uh, take it with you. So the poncho itself too is quite good. I've been very impressed with it. The things I like about the People's Poncho, again, it's got good thumb loops or hand loops. These ones are uh, sewn onto the inside, so that's really nice. The People's Poncho also has a waist strap around there, so it does, that's their way of keeping it from flapping out too far behind you. It has snaps on the side too, so you can really sort of cinch it up here on the sides to really, if you really wanna keep things tight. Um, and as far as the material goes, really waterproof as well. I would say sort of in the middle, mid range, the big classic Clever Hood cape is the biggest, heaviest, most durable one. Uh, their rover is a little bit lower. This one's, the People's Poncho sneaks right in the middle there. It's got a nice pocket in the front. Again, uh, the hood's got a nice brim and it's easy to cinch it up when you're riding. And it's got snaps instead of zipper, if that makes a difference to you. All in all, the People's Poncho, uh, which got highly recommended by many people in the shifter community, by the way, you were all correct. It's a great poncho. So there are the four ponchos. I feel very privileged to be in such an enviable poncho position. So I know you, you're all gonna ask me which one's the best, but I kind of hate choosing the best because they all have their merits. The classic Clever Hood Cape is the, it's the biggest one, it's the most robust, it's the most durable. I would say if you are looking for a poncho for life, go for the classic Clever Hood. The People's Poncho is a really great option too. Uh, also on the higher end, uh, it's a little bit lighter, a little bit sleeker than the Big Clever Hood. It's got lots of, it has lots of nice features and it's got that nice carrying bag, so that is cool. My first poncho, the VOD, what is good? I would say this is like the entry level. This is a great affordable option. If you don't want to spend the money on the other ones, this is the one you should go for. And the Cleverhood Rover is the one that you want if you maybe don't need as much rain protection. If you just need something a little bit smaller and more controllable, this is a good option as well. Does that help? You're still gonna make me pick one, aren't you? All right. I would say, um, if you're looking at all of them, my favorite so far has been the People's Poncho. I find myself using it the most, probably actually because of that handy bag it comes with. Um, but that classic Clever Hood Cape is also an amazing one too. So you buy either of them, you will not be disappointed. Anyway, hope that helps. I think riding in the rain can be a challenge and a poncho really opened up rain riding for me. So any kind of poncho uh, is, a, is a step above a raincoat or nothing. So don't be shy about picking one up. These are great options. Thanks to the companies who sent them to me to try. And I hope that helps you in your bike life. Thanks for watching. See you next time.